What is good friends, we are back with more World Cup. We got Remedy versus Mero. Remedy uh, playing for France. Mero playing for US West. That's correct, right? I think that I think Mero is playing for US West. But yeah, this is ours, all you I thought they were playing black and white, but they're playing auras. Like not 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 because of team preview, but I thought just in general that Remedy would play black and white for his team. I think he played black and white in round one, but he got put in the auras it seems. So we see Zard Y bulky offense, I would say. Uh, versus uh, Stall <laughs> classic in auras. I mean, some people bring Stall too, but like in auras, I feel like. In tourists, I see it like kind of often. Some like these bulky teams. So the chance is kind of obvious here. The thing is, he also has a duck tree on the back, which he can, which can trap the Taranta. Uh, Zadwai plus Taranta is pretty common core, right? So this is tough for Remedy. I don't think he has a, a jack button one. Like sometimes you see like Alamomola on this team instead of Slowbro, with a jack button. Which is, I, I like that strategy a lot because you don't have to like double switch around with your Duck Trio. Like, I don't like having to rely on a double switch with Duck Trio because if you get it wrong, you just lose your Duck because it's so frail. Unless you're Sash. If you're Sash, you can bring it in hard on T turn and you can just reversal that. But if you're not Sash, I mean, you're probably gonna be Sash because this is Auras. In Auras, there's no Z move, so most of the Duggies just run Sash. Especially on fatter teams like this. He doubles in the T tab rate in the Chansey. He goes in a slow bro, which is a mid ground. That covers the Zard being X and if it's mega slow bro, it can put probably eat up a hit from Tita, but yeah, he's just he's not gonna stay in exactly. He's gonna go for crunch and that did absolutely nothing, so is that even choice bandit? That did five. Uh, we're gonna calc that real quick. I'm pretty sure choice bandit just like a bit more than that. Yeah, Crunch should be doing 50, not 30. It's not banded at all. Maybe it's Scarf Tar. But yeah, Tyranitar. Oh, you choice Scarf versus uh, Skarmory. Nah, Scar Scarf does less than that. What the fuck? Taranata, oh you choice band, how much are you doing? Choice band does 37 to 44. I have no idea what that Tita set is, it's probably Adamant. But Adamant Scarf is not a set, and it's actually Zardex, wow. Gets a crit, so that's a, f a smarter Meru making the Slowbro mid gun play, because Slowbro beats Zardex. If you went chancy, they would have gone blown away by Flabbit's crit. But yeah, I assume this is gonna be Calmant Mega Slowbro. It could also have T Wave. But Calmant makes a bit more sense to give him a win condition. Um, it's gonna be Heal Bell, Wish Protect, Moonblast, Clefable, Earthquake Reversal, Screech, Duggy with. I don't know the last slot. So I, I assume Rocks are gonna be in Chansey. Uh, double Defog. This is mainly the goal of this team is to keep hazards off. Like it's stall, right? You guys know how stall works. It's just stall doesn't try to win itself. You just outlast your opponent, and if they, if they can't break your team, you're gonna win eventually. With like chip damage from hazards, if you get them up, or with like status damage, like burn and poison. Especially burn being like pretty good in auras, doing 12% every turn. Uh, he's just gonna go back to slow bro. And the Tita has shown that it's really weak, so even if he doubles into Tita, it's not gonna do anything for Remedy. If this Cliff Fable has Calm and Knock Off, it could do something, but it doesn't have. It already showed Stealth Rocks. So it's gonna be Stealth Rocks, Soft Bot, Moonblast. The last slot can still be Calm Mind, but I assume it's gonna be T Wave or Knock Off. Yeah, I assume it's gonna be T Wave. Because this is the set puts in work as in it gets up rocks because it forces out Sableye. It gets up rocks with a stall that doesn't have double defog. But this team has double defog so it doesn't get up rocks. 
And it also puts in work with his offense if you run rocks plus T-Wave because you can have the speed control of T-Wave. So did he just spam rocks? Or he just ice beams? So the last move is ice beam. So it's ice beam, moonblast, softball, rocks. He could also be bolt beam instead of moonblast. As he shows iron head. And it doesn't do much but he gets a flinch. So I don't think Remedy wants to risk this. I assume he's just going to switch out into his uh, Kelio or Excadrill. Oh yeah, something like that. But he does risk the flinch. As it's cute, Sean Fable, what the fuck is going on? This is definitely, I think this is a team building error. This was probably supposed, this was supposed to be magic guard, but he put cute jump on mistake. <laughs> and now his Skamri got attracted. <laughs> this was not supposed to be like this. <laughs> he did a team building error and it works out for him. <laughs> this isn't a tour game, just delete it. <laughs> Yeah, this would be funny if this puts in the work for Raymond T. <laughs> it already cheesed you, bro. <laughs> yeah, the Clefable can be status now. It doesn't have magic guard. It can be poisoned later on. He goes in a Zapdos. He's just gonna defog the rocks away. As an Auras, I think this might not run HPIs. I think in Sun and Moon they run max speed HPIs to check like double dense landers or like fast landers with Continental Crush. Which is otherwise a big and bit annoying to this t type of team. But yeah, this Tita has shown that it's not banned, so you can you can just go back to Skarmory, right? Skarmory or Clefable, but I think Skarmory is fine. I mean, I don't see Remedy winning this game. Stonehenge does a good chunk. So yeah, I was about to say, if he gets a crit, maybe that does something, but even the crit doesn't do enough. Because Roost plus Leftovers healed about the amount that Stone Edge crit did. So if he was banned, he would have to hit Kyoto's Skarm down, and he would have gotten trapped by Dagi afterwards. But I, th I also think if this was banned, he might have just gone hard into Dagi to go for a reversal. If he's focused Sash, which, which, he, sh which he should be. And yeah, he's just gonna fish for Skull Burns now, the thing is... Like, I assume this is... Specs Kelio. His speed control is probably just Sandrush Excadrill. I don't think he has a Scarf on this team. He could have a Scarf, but that did absolutely nothing. He goes in slow, bro. Um, which is like usually the switch in the Keld. The 42 we will just call real quick if that's uh, Specs damage, I think. If the slow, bro wants some Spadef, it could be Specs. Let's say slow, bro. Yeah, HP Electric should be doing more. If it's a fist death. Slow bro, but I assume he has like 140 or something in speed death. Yeah, but even then it should do. So maybe there's a Scarf Kelly then. Because HP Electric should be doing more damage. Yeah, I assume it's just Scarf. That did no damage, like. It did 22 to Clefable. As he knocked off the lefties from Remedy's side. Okay, it can't do 22 to Clefable if it's Scarf. So is it Specs and there was a low roll or something? Maybe it was Specs and the Clefable has like some Spadef. I have no idea. I'm really confused by these sets. Like the damage rolls don't make any sense to me. So you knocked off the lefties on Remedy's Clef and then switched out on the Skarmory and the rocks, defogged them away as the Kelly came back in. And he's just gonna go back to slow bro or Clefable, okay. I don't know why he didn't go slow bro. Like this Hydro Pump did a good chunk. So I'm thinking this is Specs Kelly just to. Uh, just how this is doing so much damage, even though that had a pump bounced off. But HP Electric did a good chunk. See, it's it's no item. I was, <laughs> I have no idea what is going on.
It's not specs, but I did so much earlier. So the slow bro is fist death, so he's going for a crit here. Like, like I realized that it could, it shouldn't be specs from the damage that it did to the clef, but like, forty four seems like a good amount to slow bro. He was trying to catch him on the pivot to clef, I guess. I'm not really sure why he had pump there. But yeah, this this game is AIDS, dude. I kind of. <laughs> I already messed up my calcs because like it's always not specs kill you, but like this game is over. Like Remedy is not winning this. Just gonna roost. He's never getting our brawlers because of the double D for us. Not having magic guys so his club able to take sandstorm. Remedy runs out of rocks PP. Oh, he's also risking the flinch here. But if Remedy runs out of rocks PP, Meryl will get our brawlers then. And pressure him. He doesn't really have a way of breaking Mero's team at all, and he's already taking chip damage on Kelio, Clefable, even though Clefable has softballed. Iron Pump miss didn't really matter. I mean, Mega Slobo just wins this game too if he just gets rid of the T Tar. Um, even though. The T there wasn't banded, so I think Lobo could have just commanded up and won the game right there. But he probably wasn't. He, he's playing it patient because he might feel like a toxic from like a specific Pokemon. I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't know what Pokemon would have toxic. But yeah, I don't know. Really, not really sure what uh, Remedy's game plan is here. He can't really touch the Slowbro at all. As he gets a Skull Burn with the. Mero gets a skull burn. Like this is just speeding up the process a bit. There's no way Remedy is winning this. Like, <laughs> I don't see a win condition. Like I see Slowbro walls the entire team. If he would just Mega Evolve on Coleman, he could probably just six zero, unless he has Toxic on something. Like I said. But I completely understand that you want to play pa more patient and try to figure out all his sets before you go for a game. As yeah, I'm just gonna defog again. And pause it real quick. I mean, that doesn't even do anything, even if he plays the slow bro. He has to crit it here. If he gets a crit, that could do something. Like, see, if he mega evolved, he couldn't get crit. But he obviously wants to keep his regen, I understand that. So he went for Icy Wind on a slow bro, god knows why. And then he switched back into Lottie on a side shock. I see when predicting what? I don't understand. I mean, he doesn't have a win con, like I said. So the laddie took a, a side shock plus burn damage. And he did reveal roost with his laddie. So at least he has some longevity and he can, like, annoy Meru a bit, but it's not like he can win this game at all. And he switched on the clef on a seismic. He switched on the clef on a seismic toss. Uh, softballed up on a switch to scoundry and he got Iron Hand flinched. So he's just gonna softball up again. And it, once this is out of softball. Okay, he didn't want to risk the flinch, understandable. But once this is out of softball, it's just gonna get worn down. As he stays in with a Zapdos on a flare, but does he have T-Wave? Oh, he has Toxic. Defog, Toxic, Roost, and the last move, maybe Discharge, T-Bolt. That... This was no... This was no game, like, this was over, like, ages ago. And I'm not even sure if I should upload this, because this was weird. He does pursue the slow bro, but it does absolutely nothing. Um, so th regenerator heal thirty three percent. So he did, he did like twenty three percent to this maybe. He switches back into slow bro, which is a really smart play to get his regenerator back to be at full. But he could probably have just one with slow bro ages ago. Like if he just calm mined it up. But like I said, he wants to be the patient guy and not risk anything. Which um, is probably smarter in a tournament game. Like if you just go for a game there and you get toxic by something random and you lose your slow bro, you're probably gonna... Um, your teammates are gonna be mad at you if you lose because of that. You can completely understand playing it patient and like trying to figure out everything on set and not getting wanting to get rid of the t before you set up with slow bro, even though t doesn't even do much if you mega evolve. 
Like if you mega evolve Tita will do less than half, but you still have to risk crunch defense dropping, so I can understand why he didn't go hard for game. As he's just gonna roost up here in case he gets crit or something. That does absolutely nothing. He's probably just gonna go for Iron Head to get some chip damage, and the Tita is gonna be down soon. Yeah, I don't wanna upload this game, but I'm probably gonna upload it anyway. I mean, yeah, we haven't seen Stall in World Cup like in a while. Like, it was used a lot in the first round, but there was like one point where people stopped using it. If he crits the slow, but that's still an opportunity though. He's probably just gonna slack off spam here. He wants this healthy. Yeah, he's not risking anything. Yeah, in the chance he's like, Sideshot doesn't do anything, Draco doesn't do anything, and Lottie's forced to roost here to stay healthy. Chansey can, can, Chansey can even get up the rocks here. And Tita not being banned means he can't even pressure this Chansey out. Like, Remy just doesn't have anything to pressure him other than hoping that his Kellyer crits the slow bro if it's a range from HP electric crit. Like even if he switches, it will have to be into Excadrill to avoid the rocks from going. And if he goes Excadrill, he always has to feed a duck tree on the back. Like I can understand why he didn't rocks yet because he wants to get. Because if Remedy gets the rocks up, he has to defog. So I guess that's smart in that sense. So like if the clap, if this at least had toxic or something to like pressure this. Even then, Toxic wouldn't help him that much because he has heal bill on the cleft. This has pressure to get rid of the PP. And also, I guess an Ice Beam Freeze might be something that he could hope for. So he goes for SD and he's trying to flinch this now, but he doesn't get it. Balloon is on a drill. Uh, a drill is on a balloon. Did I just say balloon is on a drill? <laughs> drill is on a balloon, so I guess it doesn't get trapped by Dougie. But if, if like slow mega evolves, I'm pretty sure plus two earthquake from drill bounces off like really easily. Just gonna iron head for more chip damage here. Sandstorm rolling down the Keldeo. Into slow bro he goes as he has to like HP electric crit. He's still in range from crit, like I, I don't know, he's kinda playing with fire I guess. It's not like he loses to Kelly if he loses his slow bro, like he still checks it, but it would be really annoying for him. Just gonna get the rocks back up here I assume, but he only has a few PP left. Oh, 22 still, but I mean he has way more defox than rocks PP, yeah. Then Remedy has rocks. The first stall I've ever seen loses to Scissor, how is this possible? I mean, maybe his Zapdos, yeah, his Zapdos should have T-Bolt on the discharge in the last slot. But if he like burns the slow, the scissor with um, slow bro, he can still beat scissor like in general. So if he gets the burn, he has a crit. That would be really annoying because he doesn't have anything to get rid of status. And this isn't magic card for some reason. It's probably like, a, like I said earlier, like a team building error. But this was this was no tournament game. Like I don't know what this is. I mean, like, no offense to Remedy, like, I don't think he could have, like, won this game. Um, like, he had to hope that he crits the slow bro, which he has, still has to. And I completely understand that he keeps playing for his team. Um, that's what I, like, always say when people don't give up. Like, that's understandable. Like, I would do the same if I was in World Cup. Like, that's a team building error. Like, that, sh that shouldn't happen, but... Maybe he was busy and he didn't double check his team, not sure. But even if he was magic god, I don't think like I don't think he could have won this game, like I said.
Yeah, exactly. I like Heat with Zapdos a lot for Scissor and Ferrothorn. I mean, I don't think Ferrothorn's that big of a problem because you have double defog. Like, Heat Sheet is gonna be annoying if you don't have Heat Wave on Zapdos, but it's not gonna be the biggest deal. Just gonna Iron Head again, I assume. And Kelly's getting chipped and chipped and chipped. Yeah, the, the thing is, if his Fable was healthy, he wouldn't have to go slow and risk HP electric crits. Does go into Clefable, but. He's gonna have to protect here, and he's still gonna be in range from a water move. So I guess he's trying to pivot from Clef into slow bro, so he doesn't get fucked up by an HP electric crit potentially. Oh, he just hard softballed, so he's not unaware Clefable. He's not unaware Clefable on stall. Wait, that's so weird. So he was willing to potentially sack his Clefable there. So maybe the Keldy was in range from uh, Ductrio to die. From 36%. I'm gonna calc that real quick just to make sure, because Ductrio had only 80 base and auras. So let me click on XY so I have the um so Ductrio only has 80 attack. Versus uh Keldio. Of course should do 36%. Yeah, the 39 minimum. So I guess he was willing to sack his Clefable to trap this with a Dougie. Yeah, this should be out of range from Hydro Pump. He's gonna softball up. Where's the Zapdos Vault by Exca do? <laughs> I mean, not that Exca is doing much to the stall team, but yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Slobo just won the wins this game with Calm Mind. But like he doesn't wanna risk anything. It's just what I'm what I'm thinking here. Yeah, it would be really interesting if there are more World Cup games, I'm not sure. Um yeah, it's a bit annoying that I missed the games earlier. Oh, I will watch the replays on my own. I've linked them in my other game, in my other video earlier. And the, the Poeg was Alex upload. I did put the replays down in the description if you guys missed any games. I didn't put the Badoosh replay, I just realized. So I'm gonna put that in the, in the description for this video. Because it's like DPP, which is like not a gen I really focus on. So I forgot to put that replay. Like, I'm, there's not really a point in narrating this game because this game is like over. I mean, yeah, the Earthquake did a good chunk to the slow bro. So, I don't know if it's Element X could drill. See, it's slow bro. Uh, it's Kelly is slowly dying. Maybe he doesn't have command on his slow bro, which is why he's not setting up. But he should be command slow bro. I mean, we already know the entire moveset from the x so he doesn't have Toxic, so I think he could... He could just go slow bro here and try to set up and end the game. Like, don't why don't you just Mega Wolf here and, like, set up Calm Mind if you have it? I mean, he hasn't shown his last move. Could also be T-Wave, but I think it's Calm Mind. I guess you don't know the last move on this Clefable, but it's not gonna be Toxic. And it's not gonna be T Wave either. It's gonna be Moonblast or T Bull or something like that. Like just Mega Wolf and Calm Mind. I don't see how you can win, how this loses you anything other than other than defense drops from Tita. Yeah, but Tita is at 19, so like maybe he just doesn't have CM yet. It might be it. We just gotta click Iron Head either get chip damage on something. And his art goes down. Five more to go. This was a weird game, man. I don't want to upload this. <laughs> but I mean, I put my... Like, I invested... 
my time in this, so I'll probably upload it still. He does get the skull burn, and yeah, not having magic guard. It's gonna be annoying for Remedy, but it won't change the outcome of the game. He's gonna defog. I'm gonna go back to Slowbro or Sack Skill Fable. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's willing. I think he's willing to Sack Skill Fable. He's not risking his Slowbro anymore. But earlier there were like two turns where he wasn't rid from crit and he risked it, I think. He must not have Karma, I'm not sure. Um, am I missing something else? Why is he not setting up a slow bro? Like obviously you don't want to bring it in hard on the HP electric, but like in general if he if he has it in like X schedule he could try to set up. The sack of the Latios, so the team is going down slowly and he's gonna go into Excadil or something like that. And now we just go a uh, slow on setup and win please. I don't want okay, he's just going for SD. So he's going for Iron Head flinches probably. Or rock side flinches, yeah. Gets the flinch. The win condition is here, yeah, like Ray Scarf has said. But if it, if there's no stand up, this doesn't even help him because Dougie is still gonna revenge this. Yeah, he's not risking. <laughs> he's willing to suck his chancy and then he's trapping it with Dougie. Like he can like sucker punches with Dougie and then off quick after. I mean he can also go back to slow bro and go for scald, yeah. No scoundry is but dev? That's Batita. Oh, wow, he gets a. Cr I don't think the crit mattered. Because Mega Slowbro should be able to Oko. So now, if he has Kalma, just go for it, please. He does not go for Kalma. Okay, that's fine. I mean, he didn't have to at that point. Sasha kills the Keldeo. He can just slack off here as long as he doesn't get crit. This is gonna bounce off the Slowbro. Okay, he just doesn't wanna slack off. It's fine. So he's willing to sack a Slowbro. So it's only a 4 0 then if he sacks it, but he saves it to a 5 0. Hard into Dougie and Earthquake is going to pick up the clef. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Mirror does pick up the win. I think the score is 2 and 1 now for Team France. It should be 2 and 1. Uh, let me check it real quick. Yeah, yeah, it should be 2 and 1. He picks up the win for US West. And I'll see you guys with more World Cup coverage. Uh, this was a weird game, man. Please no stall later in the World Cup anymore, thank you. I mean, it's gonna happen. I know stall is gonna be brought again and eventually. But yeah, we will see. Hope you guys all enjoyed, even though it was a weird game. And yeah, a lot more content upcoming. Stay tuned for that. Dr. signing out.